Hey guys, this is Mr. Boynton, and we're going to talk a little bit today about stippling. What is stippling, and how can you use it to make your art awesome? Stippling is basically just using dots to make shading in your art. It's usually done with ink. The closer the dots are together, the darker the shade, the further apart, the lighter. So if you do it on the edge of something, the dots become more dense as they approach the edge. The object will appear to be round. So in about 1510, a guy named Giulio Campagnola uh, invented stippling. And people thought it was great because you could use it uh, for printmaking. Uh, the little dots were easy to reproduce on a printing press. And here's an example of some of his work. Here we have several different uh, examples of stippling. Stippling can be more than just dots. As long as the little objects that you put on get further apart, they'll still make the illusion of shading, depending on how close or far apart the dots or objects are. So I start uh, by drawing the, the contour line of the object I'm going to shade with stippling. In this case, I'm going to do a piece of fruit. So I begin shading my object by first figuring out where the light comes from. That's on the right. So I go ahead and start adding dots on the left side. That's the dark side. So I go ahead and I add more and more dots. And I can even shape objects. In this case, I'm kind of making uh, the part of the fruit where the blossom was. And I've shaded the left side to make it appear round by adding more dots that get dense as they approach the edge of the piece of fruit. And here I've really darkened up that, that edge on the left to make it appear to be a spherical shaped object. Now, I've dropped the shadow by adding more stippling underneath to create a, a shadowing effect. So, I've gone ahead and I've drawn uh, another picture uh, of one of my robots. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shade this using stippling. Usually, I'd use hatching, uh, but this time I'm going to do stippling to create a more subtle effect. So my robot is made out of lots of cylinders. And I have the light coming from the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the cylinders on the left side by making the dots closer together as they approach the left edge of the cylinder. I'm not afraid to turn the picture upside down to make it easier for me to work. As I come to the end of the drawing, I pump up the uh, stippling even more on the edges to really get a contrasting effect with the background. And I also even add some writing using stippling. I just do the font uh, by making stipple marks. The following are some fantastic examples of stippling. These are used for educational purposes 